Hello. For this Ask the Rheumatologist, we're putting forward the question, what tests diagnose rheumatoid arthritis? So briefly for some background, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune inflammatory arthritis affecting multiple joints. Hands and feet are really the most common, but can affect anywhere and everywhere when it comes to joints in the body. Causes pain, stiffness, swelling, because of that can impair your day-to-day -day function. And without treatment, rheumatoid arthritis can cause permanent damage to your joints. How is rheumatoid arthritis diagnosed? So I can't emphasize enough, rheumatoid is diagnosed talking to patients, talking to you and finding out what's been going on and getting a sense of how it's been impacting you and what type of pain, what type of stiffness, swelling, which joints are involved, how long has it been going on, what time of day it impacts you, what makes it better, what makes it worse. A physical exam is really important and that really includes a head to toe exam, but in particular looking at each of your joints, looking to see if there's swelling, a certain type of swelling in each of the joints. And then finally, tests might be helpful as well. So what kind of tests do rheumatologists typically look at? So when it comes to blood work, there's two key tests that are often cited. So first is rheumatoid factor, which has been around for many, many years. And the honest truth is a rheumatoid factor is not a particularly good test to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis. Commonly, it could be falsely positive and commonly it could be falsely negative, meaning you can have a rheumatoid factor and you may never have rheumatoid arthritis. And you can also have a normal rheumatoid factor and you may be diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. So it is not, not an all or none sort of situation when it comes to a rheumatoid factor. A much newer test, which has been around for about 15 years now or so, is called an anti-cyclic citrullinated antibody test, or anti-CCP. A positive test for an anti-CCP usually is associated with rheumatoid arthritis, but not all the time, but much more commonly than, say, a rheumatoid factor. However, a negative test is no more helpful than a rheumatoid factor. So a negative anti-CCP antibody test does not in itself rule out rheumatoid arthritis. So these tests are not diagnostic on their own. They do not tell the full story or not. They can have prognostic value and often that's why rheumatologists are doing them. So left untreated, someone with rheumatoid arthritis who has negative results for rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP antibody will likely, not in all cases, but likely do better than someone who has tested positive. Obviously, in 2021, as we make this video and beyond, we should still treat both negative and positive tested rheumatoid arthritis patients. Although the results of the test may help inform you and your rheumatologist how aggressively we should treat to be successful. Another couple tests that we do uh, looking at blood markers are looking at inflammation in the blood, given this is an inflammatory arthritis. And those tests usually associated with inflammation are called an ESR and CRP. And again, these tests may be elevated when the disease is more active, but not necessarily. So you can have active rheumatoid arthritis and have normal ESR and CRP. And it's also possible that they may be a little elevated and your disease could be well controlled. These tests though in particular, they are not diagnostic. And there are many other reasons why an ESR and CRP may be elevated. And the most common being infection. Outside of blood work, x-rays, imaging in general can be helpful. But again, they're not something to totally say whether someone has rheumatoid arthritis or not. So there are are of course very typical x-ray findings that can be associated with rheumatoid arthritis. However, again, these days we really want to try to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis before these findings occur. Because when they occur on an x-ray, it means there has already been damage that's happened and we want to try to prevent that. So ideally when your rheumatologist is ordering x-rays, 
they're hoping to see a normal x-ray of the joints at the time of diagnosis. An ultrasound or an MRI may be helpful to detect swelling in the joints, but often a physical exam should be more than sufficient to detect that swelling. So in summary, it is possible to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis with normal tests. I think we've shown that all these tests could be normal and one can still unfortunately have rheumatoid arthritis. It's possible to have abnormal test results and still not have rheumatoid arthritis. So the tests are not a be all end all. And really comes down to again to say that talking to patients, talking to you, doing a physical exam remain the key components to make a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. To learn more about rheumatoid arthritis, its treatments, and more about rheumatology in general, watch other videos of ours, and of course, visit us at our website at albertarheumatology.com.